So we've had a lot of questions about how hot is your chili. And so I want to try to answer that for you. Um, first thing I'm going to talk about is our green uh, chili and um, the green mild in particular. So right here I have two green chilies. The one on the right, this one here, is a darker green and it's a sandia and it's hot. It's got some heat in it. This one is a New Mexico 6-4. It's a bigger chili and um, it is mild. The mild is two-thirds New Mexico 6-4 and one-third sandia. It's not real, real mild, but uh, it's not going to burn you and uh, you're going you're gonna to enjoy the flavor. So that's how we make our mild. So our medium is made up of half New Mexico 6-4 and half sandia. Um, you may hear them roasting chili in the background there. They just turned on the roaster. But w w chili is different every year and it's like wine. Uh, one year it's going to be hotter. The flavor is going to be slightly different. That really makes it fun. And this year it's a little hot and it's good. So the medium uh, I'd recommend. It's what we sell the most of. Uh, if you haven't tried it, start there and uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. So we're not going to move now to the green hot and we're going to talk about how we make that. I've had a lot of questions. How hot is your hot? And uh, at the Fresh Chili Company we're not looking to burn people, okay? Uh, a lot of chili companies say that we are fire hot, firecracker, all of these different names they have and the hotter the better. That's not what we're about. We're about giving you fresh chili that is not painful. Um, we don't want to hurt you. So our, our hot is two-thirds Sandia and one-third um, New Mexico 6-4. You, uh, you won't be sweating when you eat an enchilada made with hot, but uh, you'll definitely know you're eating chili. And uh, uh, that's what I eat for the most part. It's my favorite. I might add a little extra hot in there, uh, but, but you're going to really enjoy that. So we'll talk about the extra hot. I've had a lot of people call and say, how hot is the extra hot? We like it hot. And in fact, when we first started making our chili, we didn't have an extra hot. And I had a few people say, look, we really want some extra hot chili. So our extra hot is, again, this, this is a, called a sandia chili. And it's a deep, dark green. And it's a hot chili. Uh, this is the New Mexico 6-4. We don't have any of this chili in the extra hot. It's all this chili, the sandia, and then another chili that's about half the size, and it's called a lumbre. And if you know Spanish, you'll know lumbre, I think, means fire in Spanish, and it's aptly named. Uh, we use about 30% lumbre and 70% sandia, and it will, it will get your attention. Uh, if you want extra hot, the flavor is amazing, there's no question, but it will get your attention. Uh, you'll be sweating by the time you're done eating your enchilada and you'll have a big smile on your face. So those are the different heat levels of our, uh, of our green. Um, we're also going to have uh, a mixed chili, uh, which we call our blend. And the blend is going to have three different heat levels. Uh, this is a red sandia, this is a New Mexico 6-4, and this is a green sandia. And the difference again between a red and a green chili is about three weeks. A red chili is a ripe green chili. Our mild blend is going to be half and half, half red and half green, and it will also have some of these in there called, we call them uh, pinto. And it's a chili that is right in between the red and the green, so it's, it's ripening, but it's not all the way red yet. So we take those three chilies and we chop them up and mix them. Now the, uh, the mild of the blend will be the um, one-third New Mexico 6-4, which is this bigger chili. I'm sorry, two-thirds New Mexico 6-4, which is this bigger chili, and one-third Sandia, which is the, the smaller chili and we blend it about half and half and put it in a green puree. Now the medium blend is, is going to be half the uh, Sandia right here and half uh, New, New Mexico 6-4 which is right here. And some of them will be this color and some of them will be red and some of them will be green 
and um, it's just gorgeous and it's all in a green puree. Now the hot uh, blend is going to be two-thirds the Sandia and one-third New Mexico 6-4. And um, the, uh, the hot, it'll get your attention, uh, but it won't be painful. So that's the different heat levels. A lot of people have asked those questions and uh, I wanted to show you what the different chilies look like and, uh, and how we blend them to make the different heat levels. Enjoy.